my viewers and subscribers Zion coming at you again with another you got that right well tutorial just in case you guys stood me up and also for the newcomers with that being said if you're just tuning into this channel you are tuned into a channel that caters for island music reggae ska soca mentor and you know so on so take three seconds out of your time and go on down there hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell hit all so whenever I post a new tutorial or a video you will be first to know you'll be alerted now this one can be a little bit challenging so if you do not know the song guys I implore you to go ahead you know get a headphone or earphone earbuds or whatever you know lay down and listen to the song from the front to the back in and out so you'll have a better understanding of what I'm about to teach all right this one is from our favorite the legend, the king of reggae, Mr. Robert Nesta Marley, popular known as Bob Marley. This one is entitled Zion Train. Let me show you how to play this one. Grab your guitars and let's go. Okay, Zion Train by Bob Marley. Now, guys, if you hear me playing any crap, any crap at all, finger-wise, it's just because I just changed my apartment and it took me two days and my fingers are hurting. So, go easy on me. <laughs> it's not really an excuse, but it's a fact. All right, I'm in so much pain right now. But, you know, I'm dedicated to you guys, you know. This one is a request, of course, so let me teach it. All right, so, um, yeah. So for this song, you need an A minor, G major, F major, and an E major for the intro. All right, so that's a six to a five, six to a four, six to a five, to a... Uh, to the E major and that's just Bob Marley and his arrangement all right so yeah you're gonna be strumming then Zion train is coming now away Zion train is coming our way And the same thing plays in the verse and it just continue just continue playing that you never change the chord progression All right, so but this song let me tell you guys it has stock lines All right, so you can choose if you want to play the stock lines or not Right, so it's a ver intro verse, you know chorus, and it has a, also a bridge Right, we, there's a stock line there also. So I'm gonna teach you guys all that. So remember, in order to play the song properly, you guys need to watch the entire video. Cause sometimes I see the best for last. You never know, I'm not gonna tell you. You know, it's gonna help me to grow also, but you know, for you to learn how to play these songs properly, you need to pay attention and not just get the, um, the, the cards. Cause the cards for reggae music is just, 5% of the week, you know, 5% of the whole, you know, song. You need to have the technique, the songs and everything. So I want you guys to pay attention. So now I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what I'm using on my guitar right now. It's, there's no distortion. There's some phaser there. I got a, I got a little bit of reverb, a tip of delay, right? And the phaser, that's it. <coughs> No distortion whatsoever. Well, of course, if you're playing live and you want to, you know, 
yeah. you know, start doing some stuff. That's on you. But I'm going to teach you the right thing right now. How it is on the record. All right. So, yeah. So. So, again, the intro. How do you want to? Zion train is coming now away. So the guitar sounds that way because the phaser is there doing that. You know? So you're going to leave the phaser to do that. At times I use my wah pedal on it. Okay? So that's basically it for the intro. So the chords. To form this A minor, the 6, you want to bar the whole 5th fret and place that ring finger on the 5th string of the 7th fret. Alright? Pinky finger below at the 4th string. Alright? For the G major, which is a 5, you want to bar the whole 3rd fret, place that middle finger on the 3rd string, 4th fret, pinky finger on the 4th string, 5th fret and the ring finger above at the 5th string, 5th fret. And to get that F major, you go a hold down. If you guys do not know how to form these cards, I am, I am going to do a separate video on the major cards. Alright? So it's a 6 to a 5 to a 6 to a 4 6 to a 5 to a to the E major, right? Yeah. So to get this E major, you want to come all the way up to the 7th fret bar, the whole 7th fret. And you're just doing this bar for stability. Alright, you want to place that ring finger on the 2nd, 3rd and 4th string of the ninth fret. You want to play from the fifth string. That's where you're strumming. Okay. And that's it for the intro right there and this for the verse you're going to be playing Zion train is coming our way Zion train is coming our way you're just going to continue playing that right throughout the song basically until you get to the bridge all right. When you hear the tone of my guitar dip, that's the phaser taking control. So don't pay too much attention to that. All right. So that's it for your intro and basically your verse. Okay. So this is what they play over the intro cards. All right. It goes like this. Even if it's not 100%, I'm sure it's 95% there. All right? So, I'm going to play it slow. Remember, I'm not going to call notes for notes. So, pay attention, guys. Grab the guitars. Pay close attention. Remember, it's a video, so you can pause it. You can slow it down if you want to. All right? Download the video if you want to. I mean, I don't know how you're going to do that, but <laughs> do it. Here we go. So, you start here. Let me go. Then you jump, second round. Bye. 
So overall. My bad. Then you go to the verse. Zion train is coming our way. Zion. All right. So that's it for the verse. I hope you guys got that part. Remember, as I said, I'm going to give you a little bit of pain. Not really an excuse, but it's a fact. All right. It's all there. Slow it down and get it. This is the stock line they play over the chorus. Again. The stock line they play over the chorus. Now guys, a stock line is a guitar line that follows, that accompanies the bass. Not always the exact notes, but stays within the key. Alright? A stock line is a muted... You gotta use your palm to mute it. And it follows the bass. Alright? So... For this song, this is a stock line they play over the chorus. Just the chorus. Here we go. So now it's your turn. I'm going to play it slow. I'll probably let it ring out a little bit so you guys can follow. All right, which my intention is for you to get it all anyway. So just pay attention. Here we go. For the inch on the chorus. So again. Then. Then open one more time, just because I messed up a little bit right there. That's it for the what they play in the chorus, the stock line for the chorus. Here is a stock line for the verse. All right, it goes like this. All right, remember you gotta mute it. All right, and I think this for the inch also, it's in the inch, but you stop. Right, it goes like this. Dento. So you gotta listen out for that. Alright? So now it's your turn. I'm gonna go slow. Remember, stock line for the verse. Here we go. Slow. Slower. And that's basically it. You just gotta listen to the song. 
if you're not sure of what's going on here go back and listen to the original and come back here i don't want to play the original because i'm trying to stay far from youtube and this copyright strike stuff i'm almost there to be monetized so continue giving me your support <laughs> all right let's move on no of course there's a bridge and the bridge goes like this it pick up it picks up from the four to the five there, there. So it alternates between the four and the five, four and the five, then it stays on the five. Always away. Then Zion, you go back to the right. Six, five, you know, six, four. But the stock line for that part goes something like this. I apologize if I was moving a little bit too fast for you guys right there, but that was just for me. That was just the demonstration. This is yours, all right? This one can be a little bit challenging because you got to do a little bit of stretching, all right? But no worries. Once you get this and you get over this, then you, you automatically become a better guitarist, all right? A little bit of practice and you'll be good. So here we go. Start like this. Start right here on the, on the 8th fret, 5th string. So it's a and again. Now you gotta follow the bars. Remember, it's going with the. Exactly what the bass is playing. So again. You can alternate your picking if you want to. Then. Then. Cyan Chen. Coming our way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Train is coming our way. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> but it's basically the same thing you play in the verse over and over. All right. Now for your strumming, you're going to strum with the phaser on. All right, and it's going to be a double skank. All right, slightly. Remember, when you're strumming, you want to apply the pressure as you go down. And reggae is on the down, right? Remember, you mute, up, you mute. So every time you strike with this hand, you want to apply pressure with this one. So it's... Thanks for staying here with me. Congratulations, you've made it to the end of another tutorial. Now, as usual, if this one was challenging and you're not understanding something there, put it down there in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about it. If you have another request, put it down there in the comment section also. Let me know what's up. Like I said before, if you do not know the song from the back to the front, the ins and out, go back and listen to the song and come back here. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Do it now. Go on right down here. It's, it's right down there, that red button. It marks subscribe. Hit that. All right, then hit the notification bell. 
then hit all. That way, whenever I post a new video, you'll get it. You'll be first to know. Check out one of these two tutorials right here. And while in the video, check the cards also. My name is Zion. Blessed love. See you next time.